guys. Welcome in the Netherlands. Welcome in Amsterdam. Thanks Thank you. Uh, maybe you can introduce yourself to the, to the Dutch audience and tell us what you're doing in the band. Of course, yeah. My name's Nick um, and I'm the piano player and, uh, and a singer. But there's no piano in here, so... There's no piano. Oh, I do play guitar as well. Okay. <laughs> Great. Yeah, from time to time. From time to time, yeah. Um, I'm Jack. I play guitar and I'm a, uh, one of the singers as well. No, I am Dan and I play guitar and banjo. Really cool. And I sing a little less than those two. Well, I heard some nice singing. Thank you. Um, well, welcome to Amsterdam. Uh, you've been here before. Um, yes. Do you like the city? Yes. Oh, we, love, we absolutely love it. One of our favourite cities, yeah. I think. And yeah, mm. definitely. Yeah, it's not, when, we, when we book a tour here, we're very excited to come. It's a beautiful city. Beautiful, beautiful city. I think yeah. you've got a day off here. No, we came in this morning and okay. we had... Yes, yeah, so we've, we've been here since, since the morning and we've been walking around, going to the park, um, had some street waffles. Um, it's been beautiful weather. Yeah, it's yeah. Been so it's nice. Been mm. Just so warm and it's been an amazing day, really. Especially yeah. here in the aquarium. It's quite yeah, it's exactly. very warm in here. It's, <laughs> it's very warm in the sweat, aquarium. Yeah. Well, tonight you play in the, the, the Q factory and I heard it's almost sold out. Yeah. And then uh, excited for it. Oh, you're very, very excited. Excellent. I think it's, our, it's the biggest headline show of the tour so far. So, mm -hmm. so we're really looking forward to this one. And if it's anything like our show in uh, Amsterdam last year, it should be a really good night. Yeah, I think it was in Bittersuit. Bittersuit, yes. Yeah. Cool, yeah. So yeah. A bit, a bit smaller than here. A bit yeah, smaller, yeah. yeah. So yeah. thankfully we've been able to upgrade, which is awesome. So yeah. it was less than a year ago that we played here. So it's great to be back. Your EP is just out, I think, for a week now, mm. and it, it goes very fast. Sales goes very fast. What's what's the secret? What's happening? Is what's, what's, <laughs> uh, what's a secret? good question? Secret, yeah, I yeah. Don't know. You know, if our if our manager was here, he'd say lyric and melody is the secret. But um, <laughs> but that's uh, that's talking shop. Um, uh, I don't know. I think uh, we've worked on this record for for quite a few years now, um, and um, it's been just one of those work in progress. Uh, records where we have we've worked to really hard to maintain a level of quality throughout the ep um and so it's there's not really any general themes to the ep it's more we've just handpicked the ones the songs that we think are good enough to actually make it onto the onto the record so yeah. it's a bunch of different music from probably the last three or so years mm, that it's quite a long time to work yeah on, yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 yeah it's uh, six songs i think yeah, yes. exactly. Is there a reason to, to to bring out an EP and not not a full album? Good question. Yeah, I don't know. Um, we kind of we've released two EPs prior to this one, um, and I, I don't know. We always just kind of in our head said, "Oh, let's do three EPs and then we'll do our our first album." I'm not really sure why that came about, but we kind of ended up with these songs. We felt they really worked together well as an EP. But the plan is, I think, hopefully, is is to release an album. Um, in the next, you know, as soon as we can. Yeah, maybe it's a little bit of a sign of the times. People bring out like one song and three months later another song. And they... It definitely yeah. is, yeah. Yeah, well said. Mm. Yeah, it really has changed. I think with just all the, all the streaming services and, and everything now, it is people are just releasing a lot more sing, uh, singles and, you know, doing all kinds of different things. So mm. it's, it's like every, every release is a chance, another chance at a, you know, a marketing opportunity. Yeah, almost. of course. So, um, with our... Uh, the, how quickly we get over things and move on to new information and stuff. I think it sort of makes sense to have sh smaller releases and doing them more frequently. Um, not that we've really done that. We took like three years to yeah. release this yeah. EP. So, uh, but you can do it from now on. We can do it from yeah. now on. <laughs> yeah. If I listen to your first songs, they're a little bit more like a simple, simpler than, than the newer songs. There's more, more into it, more depth. Um, um, how did the songs evolve? How did, did your band evolve? Yeah, I think that's fair to say. Um, the the band, I mean, the band started with a friendship between Jack and Dan. They they've grown up since what you guys were three. Yeah, wow. four years old. so long, um, too long, too long. And then uh, we then we all started. We started the band when we were sort of fresh faced out of high school, and we've been doing it for. Someone someone said to us the other day, yeah, we've been yeah. doing it for nearly a decade. It's wow. been it's been eight years since we started first started writing songs. And that we kind only of, six years since we released it. Yeah, only six years. And so we'll go released, six so. years. I think six years <laughs> yes. is good. The it's decade's insane. terrifying. We, it scares us. The decade, but um, but this yeah, this record is definitely a bit more. I guess, um, yeah, there's a bit more complexity to the, to the songwriting there, um, and I I hope that reflects us growing as songwriters. I don't really know if it does. I think, but also the first record. 
we didn't really know where we were going to be a band and make this a career. We just kind of say, oh, we've, we've written some songs. Enjoyed writing let's, music let's, together. We just had some fun together. And we are just like, should we record them? Like Dan's dad mm. had, a, had a friend that was a producer. So he, as a favour, we went in there and recorded these songs. And then they ended up doing pretty well yeah, for us really at the time. Liked them. Um, and they, yeah, they sounded great and everything. And I think, like, because there was just nothing on the line, we are just like, yeah, these are our songs, yeah. blah, blah, like that. And then once we realised that they're doing well, we're like, oh, shit, we can you know, make a career out of this. No, we're, we're actually we going to write another one. Yeah. yeah, so then, um, yeah, I think it's just it's having, I think, pressure as yeah. well changes the way you, you write songs, even though, mm. as Nick said, it's taken us three years to write, but still having, like, that thing that you have to get, get a record out for your fans. Is like another, another, another part of the writing process. I think which changes changes things a bit. In not, I wouldn't say a bad way, but yeah. Was well, the pressure yeah. high, or is it just like a natural involvement and yeah. yeah, natural. I think. Yeah, yeah. Really, really natural. Yeah, definitely, definitely more more so a natural thing. But yeah, definitely right there. Like it's, it certainly changes things with with songwriting and mm. um, changes how you how you approach songwriting as well, for sure. You just told me that you uh, know each other from a very early age, and mm. um, I think your uh, harmonics while singing, it, it sounds very natural, as if you do it like every day. Is it something that happened too, or do you think about a well, certain part? Dan and I first started writing together before I knew Nick, and um, we always kind of did songs, but then I, I, I don't know about you, but I didn't really ever think about harmonising until he kind of came into the scene. Mm. And I'd, you know, I'd heard it before, but it just, you know, never really come to mind. And then Nick kind of brought it to the band. But I think we got really lucky in that Jack and Nick's voices are so different that yeah. the harmony's quite unique. Because obviously, you know, it's not always the case. So we got quite lucky that as soon as it happened, it was like, oh, that's immediately like recognisable as kind of a Sons of the East element now, which is, I think, a really cool thing and definitely something that we try and use a lot because it's quite a special when it when it works and when it's uh when it fits it reminds me a bit of the, the band it's very natural yeah, yeah. <laughs> big fans so. yeah, yeah okay band, cool yeah. yeah that's definitely a reference point for us yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. and lyric wise uh the change too yeah 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 um i guess that probably uh i don't say like there's a little more direct lyrics in the, in the latest record um I think we're, the lyrics are, we, Jack said the other day, um, you know, we draw off stories. We like to tell stories in our, in our songs. Um, and I think probably for us growing up when we did the first first record, a lot of those stories were, were imagined and, I mean, drawn off personal experience, but mostly sort of imagined or, or you know, friends or, you know, what have you. And... And we've grown up a little bit, we've probably had our own experiences and so some of the lyrics reflect our own experiences a little more, I'd say. So mm. that's that probably would um would explain some some of the direction of where the lyrics um, are going with this, this latest release, yeah. Okay, cool. And what will happen in the near future? I think there are a lot of festivals coming up, a lot of club shows. Um, what are the plans for the next like next year? Uh, yeah, well, we've got this tour that we're currently on. I think, I actually have no idea which show we're up to. I'm going to say roughly 15. I think 16 or 16, 17. 17, yeah, maybe. Yeah. We've got another, I think we have 49 in total. So we've oh, still got yeah. a little bit of a stretch left on this yeah. tour, which includes yeah, a whole bunch of headline shows uh, across Europe and, and a whole bunch of festivals. We've, we've just finished the UK part, so now we're in Europe, which is really exciting. And then um, I think, yeah, we're just planning some, some more tours and then we'll probably get back to Australia and try and get some songwriting done. And then I'm sure we'll be back in Europe quite soon, I think. We hope so, of course. Yeah, we do love you, it over here. So. Do you prefer festivals or club shows? Or is it a combination? Oh, the, the, a the best yeah, one? yeah, I mean, there's ease. definitely something special about playing a club show and people coming specifically to see you yeah. and singing the songs back. You know, I think there's something that's... I don't, nothing will ever beat that. But, I mean, a good festival is always fun because they're always in the... Most, especially in Europe, the locations are just... Unbelievable! Some of the festivals that we're playing and stuff. So I think there's something mm -hmm. special. And some new though. people will discover you then. On festivals. Yeah, exactly. That's always a positive to yeah. take out of it as well. They both got there. Yeah, they both have their ups and downs. Mm. Mm. Of course, the aquarium is hosted by a guitar magazine and a musician magazine. And I saw you have a special guitar with you. Um, we do. Yeah. It is an Australian guitar, I think. It is. It's um. So it's a, a brand called Tasman, which is it's named after. Uh, can't remember his name actually, but it's um. 
basically the, the Steve guy Steve Tasman. Steve Tasman. <laughs> Take a stab. I think it's it Abel, Abel Tasman, wasn't yeah, it? Abel Tasman. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it may well have been. It's uh, basically the guy who the name they named Tasmania. Yeah. Um, from uh, so it's um, it's a sort of a new new brand that is uh, currently being made in a factory in China, um, and all of the workers have sort of been been tr like highly trained and it's it's amazing like the the price point for it is pretty, pretty i feel like a reviewer <laughs> the price points man um well, that's yeah, what, what we do so, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but no it's yeah. like it's all solid woods um you've got grover uh tuning pegs and like it's <laughs> studying what's yeah the, what's this yeah, i have i've studied it this <laughs> is the, called? this Strain? is this is str yeah. strung as a high string right? Now, but um, yeah, I've had it on tour with me. It's beautiful. It's just yeah. like nice, lightweight, easy guitar. Go buy one. They're uh, <laughs> six ninety nine. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, actually, yeah. not, I, I don't know. I'm not sure. How yeah, we have we have some lovely equipment. You know. Yeah. Yeah. I saw a nice a Gibson. Uh, Gibson too. Yeah, Gibson. <laughs> I was got a Gibson. <laughs> a Gibson. <laughs> a lovely Gibson, Gibson J45. Yeah. yeah, yeah exactly. Gibson J45, which is these. We got them at the same time, so they're very precious right now. Mm. Even though they look a bit tattered already because they've been on tour with us. Um, but I've been sweating all over them every show. Yeah, they get they they get a working a lot of sweat on them. Yeah, a real beating those guitars, poor yeah. things. Again, especially here in this very hot. Mm. Room. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, what can the audience expect uh, if, uh, if they go to a show of yours? A lot of energy. A lot of energy. A lot of energy. Yeah. Rambunctious. So like we've really lifted our energy levels on this tour. Yeah. There's, it's to our detriment because we're we're beginning to decline in our health. <laughs> we're coming, we're the energy's off. still high. But we're coming off stage, like, it's absolutely spent. But then you know, before we go on, oxygen we... masks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That it's... could be the next step. I yeah, think. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oxygen masks. Yeah, yeah. No, but it's um, we absolutely love playing live. It's like getting on tour is just so enjoyable. So I think people just kind of will just they'll honestly just see how much we love playing music. Yeah. Mm. So. Yeah, we so always. That's why we do it, really. Yeah. yeah, exactly. We always wanted to make it, you know, design a show around something that we going to a show would really enjoy, and so that means like big highs, fire, big <laughs> blows, <laughs> pirate. No, no. The Australian no, we don't have... a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we heard that they tour with twelve trucks just okay. today and a hundred and something what? crew members. Yeah. yeah, we've just we've got we've only got. Eight, nine, so far, and just eight one. trucks. <laughs> eight trucks. Yeah, we only got eight trucks. One so for each guitar. Yeah, 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 and one for each band member. Yeah. <laughs> um, one day. One day. One day. But yeah, just uh, a lot of a lot of fun. Great fun. Mm. So. Well, I hope the show sells out tonight. Thank some, you. Some, Thank you. Just some few tickets left, and just uh, a few yeah, tickets left. Yeah. 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 I wish you a good tour, and um, looking forward to the next recordings and uh, the next tour. Thank, Thank you very, very much. much. Appreciate yeah. it. Thanks for having Thanks us. Having us. Yeah. yeah. Cheers.